think it's extremely important. So if you see them looking at me in the back of what their choreography is, that's okay. Um, I love to blurt out certain things in their session here so I can say, you know what, let's try that again a little bit louder. Um, I want them to get the feeling of an audience. That's why I say, you know, these are classes, but I always ask for a performance at the end just so they can see what it relates to when they have an audience with them. Um, so we worked a little bit on breathing from our diaphragm like we always do. Loud, you'll hear some of them, and again, this is from classes, right? So you hear some of them reach for that note and I might stop them and say, okay, let's try that note again because I want them to get the best out of it that they can. I want them to understand how they're singing, why they're singing, why they're walking across back and forth. So some of the choreography was their own and some of them, obviously I helped them with a little bit, but I want them to treat singing as a performance always. I tell everyone I've always worked with, it doesn't matter if you have just a great voice, you have to have the actions to go with it because you're telling a story. So that's what I want them to get from this performance. So we hope you enjoy it. Girls, there's a little less room than normal. I smile and as meek as a mouse. When I hear a command, I obey. But I know a spot in my house where no one can stand in my way. In my own little corner, in my own little chair, I can be whatever I want to be. On the wing of my fancy, I can fly anywhere, and the world will open its arms to me. I'm a young Norwegian princess or a milkmaid. I'm the greatest prima donna in the land. I'm an heiress who had always had her soup made by her own bakko soup in Japan. I'm a girl that go mad for love's a game. I can play with a cool and confident kind of air. Just as long as I stay in my own little corner, in my own little chair. I can be whatever I want to be. I'm a thief in Kolkata, I'm a queen in Peru, I'm a mermaid dancing upon the sea. I'm a huntress on an African safari. It's a dangerous kind of sport, but yet it's fun. In the night I'll sail far to seek my quarry, but I find that I forgot to bring my gun. I am lost in the jungle all alone and unarmed just as when I meet a lioness in her lair. I am glad to be back in my own little corner all alone in my own little chair. Very good. I don't have a sunny disposition. I'm not known for being too amused. My demeter's locked in one position. See my face. I'm a deuced. Suddenly, however, I've been puzzled. Bunny rabbits make me want to cry. All my inhibitions have been muzzled. And I think I know why. I'm being pulled in a new direction. And I think I like it. I think I like it. I'm being pulled in a new direction. Through my painful pursuit, somehow birdie secret all the things I detested and possibly cute. God, what do I do? Puppy dogs with droopy faces, unicorns with dancing mice, sunrise and wide open spaces, Disney World, I'll go there twice. Butterflies with picnic lunches, bunches of chrysanthemums, lollipops and pillow fights, and Christmas Eve, sugar plums, shrink crochets and chia pets, and afternoon banana splits, angels watching as I sleep, and Liberace's greatest hits has got me pulled in a new direction. If you keep insisting, go, go back I'll stop bit. resisting. Go back a little bit. Why don't you do? Has got me pulled in a new. Ready? Has got me pulled in a Here new direction. I should stay in the dark, not obey every spark. But the boy has a bite, never far than his bark. And you guess I'll bite too. Do what's truly taboo. As you watch, we pulled in a new direction. Very good. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch.
catch a pail of water, so they say. A subsequent fall was inevitable. They never stood a chance. They were written that way. Innocent. Innocent victims of their story. <coughs> just because you find that life's not fair, it doesn't mean you just have to grin and bear it. If you'll sit around and let him get on top of you. If you take it on the chin. Oh. If you take it on the chin and wear it. If you take it on the chin and wear it. Nothing oh. will change. Nothing will change. Even if you're little, you will do a lot. You mustn't let a little thing like little stop you. If you sit around and let them get on top you, you might as well be saying you think that that's okay, but that's not right. Very good, Sophie. I think of home. I think of a place where there's love overflowing. I wish I was home. I wish I was back there with the things I've been knowing. When that makes the tall grass bend into leaning, suddenly the raindrops that fall have a meaning. Sprinkling the sea makes it all clean. Maybe there's a chance for me to go back now that I have some direction. It would sure be nice to be back home where there's love and affection. And just maybe I can convince time to slow up, giving me enough time in my life to grow up. Time ain't my friend. Let me start again. And suddenly my world's gone and changed its face, but I still know where I'm going. I have had my mind around in space, and yet I've watched it grow away. And no, oh, if you're listening, God, please don't make it hard to know if we should believe things <coughs> that we see. Tell us, should we run away? Should we try and stay? Or would it be better just to let things be living here? In this brand new world, might be a fantasy, but it taught me to love, so it's real, it's real, it's real to me, and I would, though we must look inside our hearts till we find a world full of love, like yours, like mine. Let me fly. So 
me to places where no one before me has been. You spare my life, show me why. You get me to rise like the fish to the bait and tell me to wait while I'm waiting. Waiting for life to begin. Waiting for life to begin. There we go. I saved every letter you wrote me. From the moment I read them, I knew you were mine. You said you were mine. I thought you were mine. Do you know what Angelica said when we saw your first letters arrive? She said, be careful with that one, love. He will do what it takes to survive. You and your words flooded my senses. Your sentences left me defenseless. You built me palaces out of paragraphs. You built cathedrals. I'm rereading the letters you wrote me. I'm searching and scanning for answers in every line for some kind of sign. And when you were mine, the world seemed to burn, burn. You published the letters she wrote you. You told the whole world how you brought this girl into our bed. And clearing your name, you have ruined our lives. Do you know what Angelica said when she read what you done? She said, you have married an Icarus. He has flown too close to the sun. You and your words obsessed with your legacy. Your sentences border on senseless. And you are paranoid in every paragraph how they perceive you. You, you, you. I'm erasing myself from the narrative. Let future historians wonder how Eliza reacted when you broke her heart. You have torn it all apart, I'm watching it burn, burn. The world has no right to my heart. The world has no place in our bed. They don't get to know what I said. I'm burning the memories, burning the letters that might have redeemed you. You forfeit all rights to my heart. You forfeit the place in our bed. You sleep in your office instead with only the memories of when you were mine. I hope that you I'm back there going like this, I'm back there going like this. I want them to know where the support comes from, from singing. Some of them, this is their very first performance with me anyway, and I thought they did an awesome job. Some of them I've had before, and uh, especially like Sophia, when she first started, she was so do you remember? And now she's like, I'm going to do this song and I'm going to do it as big as possible. And I've had Emily before, Sophia before, Mariella, the diction was awesome there, okay? And through time, your children will get better and better and better, but it's about understanding what they're doing so that they can improve and they can get better. So we hope that you enjoyed it. I'm going to give you another round of applause. I'm going to give you a certificate for completing the course, and you all did an amazing job. And then, Salon, do you want to say something about summer? Okay, Emily, fabulous. Good job. Cheyenne. Sophia. With an F. Anastasia. I love this costume. I will wear that every day. Mariella. And Sophia P. H. Congratulations. Awesome job. I check in periodically to listen to your children sing, and it's such a, being that we do musicals basically, it's so important that this is part of the triple threat that they need to know. They're both. <coughs> it also gives them, it's a prerequisite to joining the actual program because they, it gives them confidence to get out there and to open their mouths and express themselves and to act as well as perform a song. 
So we're excited about this program. If your children would like to extend this vocal into a triple threat program, which means they would get acting and movement for the Broadway stage, we welcome you. Um, again, it's important for any performer who is interested in theater to be able to move. I don't say dance, because there are so many forms of dance. We call it moving on the Broadway stage. Even traveling, even moving from point A to point B on a stage can be awkward. A lot of children can't sing and, talk and walk at the same time, or walk and talk at the same time. So what it does is it gives you training in just being you. You're packaging yourself. Um, so many of our kids leave here and go on to theater programs in colleges, uh, theater scholarships. We've gotten numerous amount of children who've gotten into the Wagner College theater program, which Wagner is number one in the country. So it's not, you know, forget the Tisch School, forget all of the other Harvard, and Wagner has been number one. Um, so it's important. You're, you're doing the right thing for your child. Again, if they don't decide to go on and be actors, um, it's a tremendous confidence builder to be able to get in front of a group of people and to be able to deliver your idea. So we package them. We package them so everything on the inside is when they want can be displayed on the outside. You know, we often say you go on a job interview and you have two people and one and they're brilliant and one guy speaks with a heavy Brooklyn accent and another guy comes in with a British accent and who are you gonna pick? You're going, you're going to pick the guy with the British accent because he's packaged, because this is someone you want to represent your company. So what we try to do is we try to package your children and complete them so <coughs> that they feel confident in their delivery on any issue, whether it be with their peers just having conversation, whether it be trying out for their high school play, going on that college interview, which still is important even in this day of paperless world and technology. It's still important. So what I do suggest you do, if your child really likes this, please bring, us, bring them back in September. And uh, in addition to this, put them in the program where they can also learn to move, where they will be learning a little bit of tap, a little bit of ballet, a little bit of jazz, movement for the Broadway stage. Um, teaches them to, to be in sync with other actors. It's just terrific. I mean, it's just a really good program. Again, they're in a college atmosphere. They're not in a storefront. They're, um, our summer programs are phenomenal. If you haven't already registered your child in a program, look into them. We all go over. We have lunch with the college students. It gets them used to academic life at a very, very early age, so they're comfortable on a college campus. Um, we love what we're doing. Sam is phenomenal. She's also my assistant in the theater and co-director there. So um, you're in very, very good hands with her. And we welcome you to, again, look into our summer programs. Look into September. September to June is a full year program. It's really good. 